everyone, this is DWS Darius, and today we're in the fish room. So if you're new to my channel, this is my basement dedicated to raising different aquariums because fish tanks are awesome. And if you follow my channel, you know that a couple of months ago I picked up a Newfoundland puppy. Um, the thought of having a giant dog was just awesome. Newfoundlands are one of the largest breeds available. So I said, what could go wrong? So here we are a couple of months down the road. Juno the Newfoundland puppy is now six and a half months and he's definitely growing to be the dog I've wanted. Very big, uh, very playful, very friendly and just an awesome dog. However, he's 70 pounds of pure puppy. We know puppies can be extra playful, over playful if you will, and a bit destructive. And that's where the fish room comes in. Juno is enjoying tearing apart my fish room. So now I just want to give you guys a walk through the fish room and show you some of the destruction that Juno has been causing. Of course, Juno is my puppy, so he's my responsibility. So at the end of the day, all the weight falls on me. However, I do think that because of his size, um, he does do a lot more destruction compared to most puppies. So once again, this is my basement. Um, I keep aquariums in here. And here is my laundry room, which also keeps my litter box, which I'll let this be the first example of his destruction. So I had to put a door in his room before it wasn't a door. I had to make a little cat hole because my cat goes in there. But you know, this puppy just powers through, busts it open before he broke um, the doorknob because he just stands on his back, two, his back two legs and push through with all his strength. A 70 pound dog, he's going through and then he scores the cat litter. So that's the first part of the destruction of Juno so I had to reinforce this door because I'm dealing with a powerful puppy that's willing to break through doors to get what he wants. Next we can come over here and take a look at the floor. So as you can see he ripped a hole in the floor. Of course it wasn't so straight. Um, I cut it and it kind of looks like a map of the US only you just take floor and put it on the opposite side. But yeah this dog went about maybe two weeks after I bought him and ripped a hole in this floor and um, it was just crazy because first it started in a small section I covered it up and he just went and just removed the thing that I had covering it and just shredded this floor and the bad thing is that this material they don't even sell it at Lowe's Home Depot's and just my local hardware stores so it's been like this for months and I can't replace it because I can't find the material so that's the second thing Juno has done to destroy my fish room okay so from there we go to the opposite side of the fish room where I have a 125 gallon African cichlid tank and you see the clothes this is my basement my fish room my laundry room and my little dog room so that's why you see the clothes but yeah this is my african cichlid tank for this tank i have a special light this is the us satellite pro and this light works with a remote um, this remote controls the light tone it controls turning light on and off and it also has other effects like thunder lightning and stuff like that but juno the newfoundland puppy who's right here this is this chill spot because the towel is nice and cool He's eating the remote. So let me focus in on that. Now it's completely unfunctional. He um, chewed it just completely up. And now the only way for me to turn his light on and off is to go and plug it in and plug it out. I can't control any of the functions until I get a new one. So that's the third thing Juno has done in the fish room. Okay everyone, and the last way that Juno is wrecking my fish room is probably the most annoying and that's with his shedding. Now of course Juno has a lot of fur so he's gonna shed but this dog goes and plays in a fish room and I strictly tell him playing is only for outside but he plays in the fish room anyway and um, fur goes everywhere into all my aquariums and it's just very annoying trying to get that fur out. I mean it's in all my tanks, my freshwater tanks, my marine tank is in all my filters and that's probably the most annoying thing about Juno and not even in a fish room. I have hair everywhere over all my clothes. Um, when I'm eating dinner I always manage to find hair either in my drink or in my mouth so that's just disgusting and disturbing but yeah that's the last complaint I have about Juno.
Now with all this destruction in my fish room, which is a great part of my life, this fish room, how do I feel about Juno the Newfoundland puppy? Does it make me angry towards him? Let's give him a close up. So Juno, does it make me angry when you act up in my fish room? Heck no, this is just an awesome dog. And he's a puppy, so puppies are gonna do puppy-like things. And it's just my job to keep him separate. So while Juno is trying to destroy my fish room, unintentionally of course, my job is just to keep him separate. When he's down here, keep him in a kennel. And when he's not down here, let him do his thing. But yeah, YouTube, that's just a look at what's going on. Of course, I have no hard feelings towards Juno. He's one of the, well, um, maybe the other dogs might get jealous, but he's one of the best dogs I've ever kept. Um, and he's awesome. But yeah, that's just a little look at life, living with a giant dog in the fish room. Can be destructive, but Juno is still awesome. So yeah, YouTube, that's a different type of video. Wanted to show you guys a look at um, just a different part of the fish room, the dog part. So let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.